Okay, so the, the bear's dead, right? Okay, oh. so they get they got the bear. It's, oh yeah, bear's dead. But, yeah, bear's dead. Um, to me, the wizard didn't do shit. So I'm wondering. This is my own personal thoughts. If now would be a good time to step in and save what I assume is going to be the heir of Fall Creek. Everybody's distracted. They're battle wounded. Okay. Um, I, because I don't like the, I don't like the divine intervention solves every problem. So what I will do is I will make it where Mary R bestows excess charisma for roughly the next eight hours. I am going to, while everybody's distracted, uh, set Alyssa down and put Nicodemus in her hands. You know, she's asleep, so she's got him. Make sure he's safe. And I am going to belly crawl. Because I'm still going to try and avoid as much attention as possible for the moment. And lay my hands on this gentleman. I don't even think I have to touch him, actually. Uh, and try and help him out a little bit, because he's bleeding out. Okay, I need you to roll me a d20. All right, give me two seconds. Oh, please don't let me kill this motherfucker. The three. You go to cast your spell. It does cast. It does hit your target. However, it does so in the most flashiest way possible. Opposite of your intent to stay within the shadows and do it without being noticed. Your healing spell glows with the light of a thousand suns as your prone body is enveloped in a godly aura as the healing as your healing word drifts from your mouth into the incapacitated boy man Jesus to you Christ. as the four remaining knights that are standing the older gentleman and the younger knight all turn and stare at you in disbelief. <laughs> You're so prone, by the way. Is he okay? Yeah, I'm just laying there on the ground. I'm like, is he okay? <laughs> Roll persuasion, please, with your advantage. <laughs> 